Hello guys! I am so back and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the part 2 of Japanese multiplication where we're going to multiply numbers. But this time around, we're going to multiply numbers where 0 is one of the digits. So we're going to apply this method on these numbers. So we're going to underline non-zero digits with color blue. So we're going to form blue lines. That represent non-zero digits. So kapag first factor po, ibig sabihin we're going to form yung lines sa may pagka-vertical. Tapos pag zero naman po, we're going to form a line na different ang color para ma-distinguish natin kung zero or non-zero siya. So pag second factor naman po, we're going to form lines na may pagka horizontal. Okay, so now we have formed these lines kaya kailangan may horizontal at vertical para maka-form tayo ng points of intersection. Yun yung pagbabasihan natin, yun sa paghahanap ng product. So now we're going to form dividers. Okay? Yung stars na yun, yun po ang points of intersection. Huwag na huwag tayo maglagay ng stars sa mga natama ng green line dahil ang green line kasi ay nagre-represent sa zero. It represents zero. So any number that can be multiplied by zero will always be zero. Okay, so here you go. So now we're going to count the number of stars in each group. So in this group, we have four stars. While well, since it is being hit by the green line, we're going to write it zero because there are no stars. In this group naman, we have 12 stars. So, therefore, the answer is 1,204. So, sunod-sunod ka talaga. Okay? So, we're going to apply this method on the further examples we're going to obey the same routine. Now, we're going to draw the dividers. Then, maglalagay na pa tayo ng points of intersection. Okay. So now, we have four groups. So sa bawat group po, we have to count how many stars po. Bakit hindi tayo naglagay ng stars sa mga lines na, na intersect ng green line? It's because the green line represents zero. So now, in this group, we have two stars. Here naman, six stars. Ito naman po, one star. And here naman is three stars. So, therefore... Our answer is 3,162. We're going to move to the last example. So now, we're going to apply the same routine and the method as well. It's about time to make dividers. 
Sorry for my drawing, ah. Uh. I'm so sorry for my drawing. So, so when you construct these dividers, take your time. Make sure na presentable siya and maayos. Para maintindihan mo kung paano mo i-multiply using this method. Okay? Ilalagay na natin yung mga stars yung sa mga natamaan pareho ng blue lines. Okay. Now, we're now going to count how many groups are there. So, shall I count? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, there are 5 groups. So, in each group, we have to count how many stars. So, ito po, 3, 3. Tapos dito naman, sa grupo na to, since 6 sa taas, 4 sa baba. So, 6 plus 4 equals 10. Dito naman po, there are 4 stars. And, dito naman po ay 8 stars. So, now, we're going to compile them all. So, ang ikakalabas niyan ay 3, oops, 3, tapos 3. So, dito po yung sa 5th group sa fourth group. Tapos dito naman ay 10. Yun yun sa third. Kaso, i-add natin yung 1 sa 4 dahil pareho sila po sa thousands digit. Tapos yung 8, ilalagay na po dito. So we're going to add all together. So magiging 8,000 or 85,033. So 85,033 ang sagot natin. So, thank you guys. Um, if you have any more questions or let's say any questions you may ask or you may comment here in my YouTube channel or you may post some comments and I am open to any of your questions. So, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and do not forget also to like my video. So, thank you. Happy learning. God bless you.